Howdy there, internet people. It's Belle again. So today, we're going to talk about Arizona and Missouri, ballot initiatives, and what it means for the race for the White House. On Tuesday, the Secretary of State's office in Missouri certified that an initiative petition had received enough valid signatures to be on the ballot in November. The day before, the Secretary of State for Arizona announced that the office had certified over 575,000 signatures on a petition for a ballot initiative. The certified signatures are far more than necessary to get the initiative on the ballot. It's reportedly the most signatures of a citizen petition in state history. So what are the petitions for? Reproductive rights. The people of Arizona and Missouri will get to decide whether to enshrine the right to abortion in their state constitution. It will allow abortions up until fetal viability. That's around 24 weeks. So what does this mean for state politics? The most signatures for a citizen petition is definitely a message to the Republican politicians. In Missouri, qualifying alone sends that message. But there's more. Arizona doesn't have one of the more restrictive bans. Currently, the law in the state allows the procedure up to 15 weeks. There are exceptions in case of medical emergency, and the state has created other restrictions and methods to make it more difficult. Even with these conditions, it still drove record petition participation. It will also likely drive voter turnout in November, now that it looks like it will be on the ballot as Proposition 139. An organizer for the campaign in Arizona said, This is a huge win for Arizona voters, who will now get to vote yes on restoring and protecting the rights to access abortion care, free from political interference once and for all. Those showing up to vote on this will likely also provide a boost to Democratic candidates. Similar initiatives are supposed to be on the ballot in Colorado, Florida, Maryland, Nevada, New York, and South Dakota. They're likely to provide a boost to Democrats in those states also. There are attempts to add ballot initiatives in multiple other states as well. In many cases, the increased voter turnout from these races might be the deciding factor. Both Arizona and Nevada are swing states and will matter to the presidential campaign. Aside from that, Republicans in competitive districts may end up losing their seats because their party has kept a dated promise that most Americans no longer wanted them to honor. Despite Trump saying he doesn't see this as a huge issue anymore, it seems like women in the country might be ready to surprise him. We'll have to wait until November, but it really does look like the Republican Party is the dog who caught the car. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.